Hey you guys, it's Isabella. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are new here. Today's video, I'm going to be covering just a few things that I've been liking in my makeup routine that I've been using every day. I am actually wearing all of the products that I talk about in this video on my face right now. If you are interested in anything, I will make sure to link all these products in my Amazon storefront as well as my LTK. It has been a bit, I do apologize. Um, this is my first video of the year. Um, this is my first video of the year. Um, I do want to say my hair's, my hair's in a clip, that's why it's really short. But um, I just wanted to say that I haven't forgotten to post. It's just, I, there's been a lot going on. I got married last year, as you can tell. If you're a subscriber, you've probably seen my wedding video, um, our wedding video on my channel that I posted in October and that was the last video I posted so with that being said um just I have more free time now to make more content so that's what I'm doing today I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are doing well so excited to create more content for you guys to watch so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so basically I have some drugstore um, alternatives and a high-end alternative so whichever one you want I have some for both now a little bit of backstory I have um, combination skin so depending on where or like what day it is or what time of the year just depends on how my skin is sometimes I'm more oily sometimes I'm out, like more dry so it just really depends so the first thing I wanted to cover is foundation so for foundation or like just a base in general, I'm not wearing my red my wedding ring. I just realized, oops, it's over there. But the first thing I wanted to talk about is foundation, and this is a really good foundation for combination skin. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airless Flawless Foundation, and I am in the shade Two Neutral, and this foundation is amazing and blends like a dream. It is buildable. I don't really build it that much. I put like maybe two pumps on my hand and that covers my whole face and allows like for more coverage in certain areas that it might be more spread out. I like how this has I like how this has a pump. Um it is a little pricey, but I you know, I watched so many videos on this foundation before I bought it. It took a recommendation from my nail tech actually who also has combination skin and she said that this would work great for me so that finally pushed me to go get it and I don't regret buying it at all I love it so much so I'm not wearing this right now but I'll show you guys what I am wearing right now actually my drugstore alternative and it does look like I'm wearing foundation right it does but I'm not wearing foundation um, this is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Glotion in the shade Fair. And then this one is the one I'm wearing, and this is the shade Light. And, um, as you can tell, this is like, I wear this in the winter, it's mostly empty. This one is what I wear, I'm wearing right now. And literally, it looks phenomenal on its own, but I just did powder, I did bronzer, Everything on my face, um, this looks great. This is literally the base I'm wearing and then I have concealer. And that's literally my base makeup. So um, this is, I don't know the price of this or the Charlotte Tilbury. I know this is a lot more expensive and this is only at Sephora. But these you can get at Ulta. Um, and I think you can get them at Target too. I want to say they're like around $16.00. I'm, that might be a little high. I think it's like around 10 to 16 depending on I don't know if the price went up went up but I bought these last year and this one is just no running now. I just started using this a lot since like I want to say August of last year I was using this one a lot and now that it's starting to become more like summer. I'm starting to use this one just to add some color to my face. I really like how this looks a lot and you don't need a whole lot to cover your face so I love this a lot great alternative and it's just a tinted mo a tinted lotion so highly recommend the next thing I wanted to cover is powder so I have two powders here I'm gonna cover a drugstore first this is the fit me loose finishing powder in the shade fair which is 05 I love the packaging of this and I just really it looks really chic and like just clean and it's translucent 
well, it's supposed to be translucent, but I got the, the fair one instead. But, like, my skin is so clear, like, and so fair, you can't really tell that it's on me. And, like, honestly, if I didn't say I was wearing powder, you probably wouldn't know, like... So this is great. I think this is like eight dollars at Target. I don't remember, but you can also get this at Ulta. I'll link all the. I'll put all the prices on the screen, and they'll all be linked, like I said down below. So I like this as a drugstore alternative. I'm wearing this today, and then more recently, I found this Laura Mercier powder, uh, translucent powder, at TJ Maxx. And I, when I tell you guys run to TJ Maxx, I mean like run because like. This is a full size, and it was only $16, which is insane. But this is in the Celestial Light one. So it has a bit of pigment in it, but it is also, it says translucent, loose setting powder, light catcher. So I don't know what the light catcher means, probably that it catches the light better, duh. But like, I really like this powder a lot. I just get in, go in with a fluffy powder brush and just like pat it all over where I need to. Very light layer. Cause we don't want to look cakey so i like this as my high-end alternative so if you're looking for a drugstore powder if you're looking for a drugstore powder i highly recommend this one or the air spun powder but mine is completely out and i'm about to throw it away so i wanted to show one that's actually like full or like has product in it and then if you're looking for more something for something more like expensive i almost dropped it I would go with the Laura Mercier powder. I've used it before, but I like the loose version better because I used to have the compact, like the pressed one, and I didn't like that one. So I like this one a lot better. Highly recommend both. Now for like bronzer, I have two options. I have a drugstore and I have a high end. So the drugstore one is the the drugstore powder or bronzer is the Wet n Wild Color Icon bronzer in the shade ticket to brazil i'm not wearing this one right now i'm wearing a hula bronzer that i'm going to talk about in a minute but i don't know if they still sell this i've had this for years uh and it's been pretty used up i hit pan a while ago but this is super like pigmented so like if you barely tap your brush in it it will show so well it gives you such a bronzy finish I might actually go in later and top my bronzer because you can't really see it. You can see this, but that's it. Um, just because of the brush I was using. Um, but you barely need any of this product and it goes a long way. So. Okay, now on to my high-end bronzer. This is a Hula bronzer and I apologize, mine is so dirty. But I've used, this is like my fourth one. I've had a lot of these. I like, the mirror is like broken, but like I've also hit pan on this bronzer. I love it. So, this is a great color and it's similar to this one, but this one's like shimmery versus this one is matte. You see? So like, um, yeah, if you're looking for something more like subtle, go with this one. If you want something that like will bring out the bronze goddess in you, then you Now on to uh, my blush and eye products. So I am wearing the blush I'm about to talk about right now on my cheeks. Um, my friend Presley actually told me about this blush. This is the NYX Sweet Cheeks blush in the shade, um, what shade is this in? Coralicious. And so, it is liquid. It's like a cream. So you just, what I do, is I just put two dots on each side and then blend it in with a beauty blender. And I love this shade. I think it's like the better one, the more natural shade. Out of all of them they have, I think they have four. But I highly recommend um, NYX products as well. I've always loved NYX. And this is like pretty affordable as well. So I highly recommend. I don't really use high-end blushes. So I can't really speak on like which ones are good. I heard the Rare Beauty ones are good. But all my blushes, except for a few that I use that are in a palette from Too Faced, I got from like the drugstore. So yeah. And now on to my eye products. This is one of the only days that I've worn my brow pencil in a hot minute. So um, I wore, I'm wearing my brow pencil on my eyebrows right now. Um, this is from NYX. This is, excuse me, my dad's calling me. Sorry about that. My dad was calling me. Wanted me to know if I want to get lunch with my parents later before work. Where was I? 
like I mentioned earlier, I'm wearing both of my eyebrow products today. My favorites. This is the, they're both by NYX. Surprise. Are we surprised? I, I mean, I love NYX and these are like good dupes for like Anastasia. So why not? Um, I'm all about saving money lately. Um, so this is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. And this is the dupe for the um, Anastasia Brow Wiz. I love it. This was like, I don't remember. All of this stuff was affordable. It's like a fraction of the cost. It's the same exact features as the Brow Wiz spoolie. And then the pencil. Love it. So I did that to outline my brows. And then to put, me, to hold them in place, I used the NYX Thick It Stick It Thickening Brow Mascara in the shade Espresso. And this is just like a, it's not a pomade, but it's like a gel. And you put it on and it make, it colors your brows and it also makes them stay in place. I didn't used to use like a brow mascara, but I used to notice before I used one that there was, a, there was always like movement in my brows and I didn't like that. So at first before this one launched, I got the glue one that they have, just the clear one. And I love that one. And then they released one with color. I have the other one in my makeup drawers over there but i like this one a lot if you hear any like stuff going on there's always a truck outside making sounds in the complex so i apologize for that but i really like this a lot so highly recommend and then for mascara um i haven't really been using a drugstore mascara but when i do it is the lash princess by essence but i'm not gonna be talking about that one today because i haven't used it in like a few months so the one i've been using lately is that for I want to say for my birthday, I went to Ulta and I got this like sample thing. I don't know if it was for my birthday or not, but it was around my birthday. I got a sample of mascaras from Benefit. It had a pack of four mascaras. And so I've used Roller Lash before. I've had a full size. I love it. And so now that's what I'm using again, my small little Roller Lash. I've also been using the They're Real, but I really like this one a lot. It looks natural and they look really long right now. So I like this one a lot. Um, I'll also link Lash Princess down below. Um, the results with Lash Princess for only being like $3.99 is absolutely astronomical. They are amazing. They look great. They look so full of volume and like color. They're just like, you know, very vibrant black. I love it. That's like the best drug score, drug score, drug store mascara you could get is the lash princess i have the normal one yeah. that is all for my video today i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give this video a big thumbs up for me and don't forget to subscribe down below um i plan to be posting more content on my channel now that i have more time to upload and like film content and everything like that because it is a timely process with that being said um look forward to more content by me and like I said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Have a great day. Bye.